Hey everybody, I'm Ray. And I'm Paul. And we are the Alkanauts. And today we're gonna have a fantastic beer with a little bit of a kick to it. Ray, why don't you give us the tail of the tape? All right, so today we are gonna be drinking Monty's Aged Ride Ale. This is from Tomorrow Brew Co. in Toronto, Ontario. So this one is a flavored strong beer and it comes in at 6.2% ABV. I'm pretty thirsty, so why don't we crack these babies open? Absolutely. Let's see what we've got in the can here. I do smell a little bit of caramel coming mm. out of this can. Oh, and that, it is a honeyed, yeah, it's very golden, golden looking beer coming out. Yeah, look at that color. Hello. I'm really excited to taste this. Well, <laughs> let's get into it, Ray. So, uh, cheers, buddy. Cheers, man. And cheers to you guys. Cheers, all. It says on the can, smoky caramel vanilla. And uh, no word of a lie, it is smoky, hints of caramel, and a slight hint of vanilla. This is fantastic. Like, it's, it's very surprising. Like, the rye is there, but it's part of that smoky taste, right? When I drink rye, I get there's, there's a very distinct lingering feel on my tongue. And I totally get that from this. Um, I've had some other um, oak barrel, rye barrel um, beers, and they've been super harsh and, and really rye forward. This is not. This is nice. I like this can. This the can is what what caught my eye when I was when I was at the outlet. It's got that kind of warmth to it. It's got that wood gr like gray wood grain to it, and it's got this oozing almost like honey seeping from the top of it. It it is an eye catcher. I kind of like it too, and I kind of like their logo too, like their, their Tomorrow Brewing Company logo. Yep. On the side of the can here, it says aged in oak wood, infused with 100% Canadian rye whiskey, rich in layers of silky caramel, honey, and vanilla flavor. Rye spice and smokiness balance out a mellow finish. Some sediment may occur. Well, I don't have any sediment in my glass. It is pretty smooth going down. I'm starting to get the rye coming out a little bit more as I drink it. And I'm a rye drinker, so I'm, I'm quite enjoying this. That caramel taste. Even the notes coming out of the glass. Like, it's very sweet, mm -hmm. right? But it's not overly sweet when you're drinking it. I'm shocked. I really, when, when they said aged, aged ride ale, I was expecting the rye to kick me in the face. You know, honestly, I'm getting notes of a barley wine in here. Not as strong. I think the, the caramel and the vanilla mm -hmm. really help to you know, push that flavor down a bit. It's that time of the episode. It's time for the chug. And as always, we're going to count it down from three. And when I say go, we're going to chug them back. You ready? Alrighty, so he's just made some room. Let me just get oh, rid of let dude, me just... that is awful. Oh my god. Oh. What did I eat today? Jesus. <laughs> just get rid of Oh my god. Jeez. I'm so sorry. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. <sighs> oh, that burns. That really burns. I still enjoy it. I don't taste that uh, that barrel aged rye. It's almost like it disappeared when I took massive amounts of it. It was smooth drinking. I love that caramel uh, taste to it. Um, I'm gonna give this. I, I, I'm buying at least a 12 pack of this thing. I'm absolutely getting that rye flavor, and on the chug, it was hitting the back of my throat large. Um, it was like doing a shot of rye for me. Yeah, you know what? It was really enjoyable. I don't want to chug these. 100% don't want to be chugging these more. I'd buy a six pack. Tomorrow Bruco? Cool beer. Uh, definitely a different uh, kind of beer. Uh, it's not an everyday drinking beer, I would say. Yeah. But it is, if you do get your hands on it, uh, I think you'll be quite, uh, quite pleased with the flavors 100%. that you're getting out of it. And with that being said, I am Paul. I'm Ray. And we are the Alkanauts.